Sup, TTC. Big win for the Tigers Saturday night. Big win. He pulled in the swamp. 33-29. Big win. Uh, I mean, LSU dominated this game. Look at stats. Uh, Donald told him, I mean, just domination. I mean, the Florida fans can say what they want about the calls. Uh, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a forward pass. If anything, it was on it was on a straight line. So, uh, and it was a, it was a catch. He didn't bobble it. I mean, if that was a Florida receiver, you'd be saying it's a touchdown. So, you know, get over it. You know, you lost. You lost two in a row. Just get over it. I mean, you lost. I mean, you're still you're, you're still going to win the East, I think. But uh. Because I think I don't think South Carolina is going to beat. Uh, I just don't think South Carolina is going to uh, go throughout the whole season with uh, just one SEC loss until y'all until Florida. I just can't see it. Uh, I mean, they're going to play Arkansas. I mean, they're going to play Kentucky this week on the road. And, and Kentucky's not a bad Kentucky's not a bad football team, but but it's a road game. Uh, road games in the SEC are tough. My mind's been built, but uh, so, but you know, uh, the Auburn they seem to, uh, I think Auburn's gonna win the West and Florida's gonna win the East. But enough of that, get back to the LSU game here. Um, yeah, no, right. Florida was lucky in the first half, and uh, LSU had the uh, muff punt and the uh, interception, otherwise, it would have been 20 enough at halftime, and we wouldn't be having a discussion about. Play game heroics, but it is what it is. Those happened. Uh, kudos for Florida for you know uh, they still had a fall in the ball for the muff punt, and they still had a drive for the touchdown after the interception. So kudos to them. You know they made the game in the first half more than it should have been, but like I said, it is what it is. Uh, second half we go 26-14. We then we give the touch the kickoff. That was a backbreaker. I felt that if we could have held them to a three and out and got the ball back, the game would have been over, but it wasn't. Uh, the Florida really didn't drive that much on us to that, that one scoring drive, the last one they had. So, um, but it was, but, you know, it's a road game. It's tough. It's tough to win on the road, especially at the Swamp. Uh, you know, LS, Florida had 243 yards of offense, uh, 89 rushing. I mean, that's that's not like Florida. Florida had, the Florida, they've always been a good rushing team. Surprising to see their struggles this year. Uh, they missed Tebow, I guess. No, or or could be the uh, coaching staff is not uh, calling right plays for their personnel, which probably is more to, has some more to do to their uh, their failures in offense than uh, missing Tebow. I, I don't think they're calling the right plays, uh, especially for Brantley. I mean, it is. You know, Demps is out, but I mean, you're Florida, man. You should you should have you should have backups like on par. I mean, you're Florida. You recruit. So I mean, I mean, I really thought this game was going to be a defensive game. It really shocked me that both teams almost scored 30 points. Uh, I'm sure shocked like a lot of people. I thought this would be in the teens game. Uh, you know, all the Florida fans said they were going to win 35-10. All that shit. I mean, y'all already off minds. Your offense was not. Your offense wasn't that good. Still wasn't that good. Still got problems. I mean, so. I mean. <laughs> I just don't get some of this. Some of y'all when y'all said uh, 35 10. But I kept my mouth shut and I didn't say anything. I said, just let, let the game play out. Let the game speak for itself. And it did. So, uh, you know, LSU's now 6 0. Probably be 7 0 seven about the next week. Uh, make me state. No, I'm not going to make a bid this week. I hate week. And no reason to. Uh, you know, some by some miracle, if we. Not miracle, but some by, uh, <laughs> by some chance LSU loses. I will make a, I'll make a pro video for it. But. But don't, but, I mean, well, ain't going to happen, but, uh, you know, 6-0, 4-0 in the SEC, right where we want to be. Two weeks we got Auburn. Uh, so, but that's going to be a tough, tough, tough game, especially on the road. Uh, Auburn has a good offense, especially for Cam Newton. Uh, he's just a dynamic quarterback, running through. He's gonna be very, very tough to defend. We're gonna have to spend like we're gonna have to score in that game too to win this death football game. But 
No, I mean, but like I said, we're six and zero, four and on the SEC, first place in SEC West, right where we want to be. Uh, how, how the games in the SEC this week? Uh, Auburn beat Kentucky on a last-second field goal. Uh, you know, Mississippi State beat Houston, 47-24. Vanderbilt beat Eastern Michigan. Uh, Arkansas, they beat Texas A&M, and Georgia beat Tennessee. Uh, and the game of the day was Alabama and South Carolina. That was a that was a good game. And South Carolina came out in the first half, and they just took it to Alabama. They got I believe it was 21 three and a half or 21 nine. I think it was yeah 21 nine and a half. Alabama, Alabama scored late. Uh, and um, it's just you know, I mean, you know, it's, it's tough when you get down. It's tough when you to come back when you're down 21 three. But Alabama will be there. Alabama will beat at the end. Now they still got to play LSU. They still got to play Auburn. So they can they control their own. They, they control everything. They, everything's right in their hands. They, they lost that game. That's a that's an East game, SEC East game. So it really doesn't hurt them that much. Uh, hurts them, you know, when uh, playing for the national championship doesn't hurt them. Uh, accomplishing their goals, one of their goals is winning the SEC. That's every team in the SEC. And it's one of their goals is to win the SEC. So, but you know, we get Alabama at home. So that's gonna that be a good game. Should be a great game, but that's weeks down the road. Can't look, I mean, can't look uh, ahead of ourselves. We still have uh, Auburn, Auburn before Alabama. So, but at the Auburn game, we can look, we can look forward to that game. But uh, you know, but kudos to LSU going on the road. Uh, I don't think they could have won this game at home against Florida. Not with the fans booing and all that shit. The fans ain't quit booing. Team six and zero. I mean, these people need to get over, get over themselves. Uh, could be a lot worse. You know, we could be, uh, I guess some of them don't remember the six straight losing seasons we had in the late 80s, early 90s. But, you know, can easily go back to that, make a wrong hire, and a wrong, a wrong fire and a wrong hire. Uh, I don't think Les Miles is perfect, but, uh, the man's 6 and 0. Uh, he's 57 and 15, uh, career. He's won a national championship. He's won an SEC championship. He's played for another SEC championship. I mean, you no, know, it is what it is. I mean, he he's winning, uh, but seventy-nine percent of his games, and people in Baton Rouge are bitching. I mean, they just they just bitching to be bitching. Uh, but you know, that's, that's just life. People will never be happy. Uh, they weren't. I mean, they weren't happy when Saban was here. So what else is new? They wanted Saban gone. <laughs> so <laughs> that just shows your fans' mentality, and they just never happy, no matter what happens. But uh. So just, it was a good game, Saturday. Exciting. Uh, more exciting than I wanted to be. Uh, but it's always good pulling out a, a SEC one on the road, especially at Florida, because we don't we don't win there that much. But y'all guys have a good uh, week. Uh, like I said I'm not making a video this week. Playing McNeese State. Uh, there's no reason we make a hate video or any kind of video previewing that game. Uh, so I guess I'll see y'all at this Wednesday, probably next Wednesday, previewing the Auburn game. Have a good night.